Hey everyone, today we're going to be covering how to create your very own watermark or branding for your YouTube videos. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm loading up a photo editor. You can use whichever one you have. I happen to really like PicMonkey. So I'm going to hit create new once I'm inside of here and I'm going to do a blank canvas. The size that you're looking for, if you want to create a custom one, is going to be 150 by 150 pixels. So you're going to see that this is going to be a square. And I'm going to say that this is my watermark for YouTube. Go ahead and create this. One thing that I like that you can do, I'm going to just increase the size here, is I would actually consider putting a transparent background on this. That way there isn't a really harsh edge when you see it in the corner of any of your videos. So I'm going to start with a transparent one. And now this is where you can get kind of creative, but also keep in mind this is very small. It's only in the lower right hand corner of your video. So you don't want to do anything that's too complicated. So maybe I'm just going to start with some text that just says um, a simple subscribe. So you're going to see that as you scroll down, it's going to look a lot more clear and the reason it looks like that is because again the box is so small so i'm going to go ahead and zoom this back in and i think that i want my text to be white and then i'm going to put a little youtube icon i think in there actually i'm just going to kind of make a one that kind of looks like that just to show you i'm going to do a basic shape here i'm going to do a shape kind of like this just move it down a little. I'm gonna move my text down a little too. And I'm gonna make this that classic YouTube red color. I'm just gonna make it really bright there. And then I'm gonna add a triangle that looks like the little play icon. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that color white. Great. Then I'm going to rotate it. Great. And now I'm going to shrink it. Now it's not perfect, but you guys get the idea. This is kind of like the little logo for YouTube. And then just for funsies, I think on my text, I'm gonna add a little bit of an outline so you can see it. High intensity, no fade, a low blur. I'm gonna bring this down quite a bit. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna bring that down. Perfect, so that's gonna be the little indicator that I have that would tell people to subscribe. Uh, the last thing I might do is make my, take up more room there, that looks good, I think. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export this and I'm gonna save it as a PNG. Now I'm gonna go into YouTube. I'm gonna log into my Creator Studio. And then over on the side, what you're going to see is your settings and you're going to go to your channel and go to branding. And then you can see I already have a watermark here. If we wanted to replace it with the one that we just created, so it's gonna show you what that looks like. And then all you have to do is hit um, save. But since I already like mine, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. But that's all you have to do to make sure that you have the watermark in place. Then you just need to decide the display time. I like to have mine show the entire length of the video. You can have yours you know, just at the end or have a custom start. I like to just default it to this so it's always in the video. Um, that is your choice though. So I'm gonna go to one of my videos and go ahead and show you what it looks like when it plays. And here you see my branding watermark over here in the lower right hand side. So mine displays the entire video. And so you can do that yourself and create your own. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.